Hey guys, quick announcement. Thank you so much for watching all the episodes this season on the uh, Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. Just want to let you know that for next week, we are all going to be basically on vacation. So we're just going to take a week off of the Nuzlocke. It's possible there will be a uh, Wednesday episode the week following, but I think it's going to be the following Friday. So two weeks from today will definitely be the uh, next episode of the Nuzlocke. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, thank you for letting us take a break. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the SuperCon Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge where if you will recall, everything is the worst and it hurts all over and I'm dying. Why did Axe have to die? Why? Why, Axe? Why would you do that? Oh, oh, the Tauros. Oh, I still am so mad. Fr pursuit. Like, I even go back and I'm like, I I tried to switch out. I didn't know they had Pursuit. I didn't know. Uh, it's, why does the starter, it's, it's, I hate it. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that Axe is gone from us. Uh, it hurts. It hurts. It's not good. But. You're a great starter, Axe. You're a great leader. You taught many of the other Pokemon on the team your ways, and we can only hope that they will continue to fight on in your memory. Uh, we have to go. We have to go to the do the thing. Uh, boy, here we go. Here we go. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Uh, Axe, you are a great. You were chosen by my son to be our leader. You will be greatly missed. Farewell. Oh, it's just, just oh, it just goes so fast. Oh, oh my gosh. Hmm, that really sucks. He's gone. He's gone. Oh my gosh. So the question, I think, or the um, I think the clear new team member to bring on is Zylia. Uh, because water, we need a water type, and it's the only other water type we have, so that answers that pretty quickly, I think, and we can even, um, oh, uh, we can even teach a surf right away. Um, I have seen you guys' comments now about, um, uh, the Lucario, whose name I am, Wiley, totally remembering. <laughs> Um, it seemed like a lot of you were pro Lucario, but enough of you were like, nah, Team Juge, uh, J uh, th th for the moment, I'm going to keep him in the box, uh, consider him as an available option in the future, but at the moment, yeah, I think we're just going to stick with the team, um, as is, also, you may have, actually, let's go ahead and go to the Pokemon Center and maybe buy some potions real quick, that'd be smart. Um, you guys may have noticed, if you're a very astute viewer, that uh, Juge and Fatterhorn are actually one level higher than they were the last episode, because on my way back to the Pokemon Center, we ran into some wild Pokemon, Tauros, actually, and we had to defeat them. And uh, we did, in wonderful fashion. I would like to think that uh, some of Juge's motivation while fighting the Tauros came from seeing... Max go down and realizing that oh my gosh I really need to step it up I think the like there's there's like such a when, whenever like a Pokemon like a, a team leader goes down there's such like a it's, there's like a I don't know amount of like stress that obviously goes to the team because typically they're the leader because they're like one of the strongest and you always think well worst case scenario we can throw them in they can they can handle this, but now it's like the like one of the wall, like one of your lines of defense is gone. And we're gonna give this to Lapras right now. I've never used the Lapras. This should be kind of fun. Um, I mean it's I mean it's a certain amount of association with not having our Frogadier anymore, but uh so let's see. Special attack and attack actually equal, so that's good. Um Ooh, I wonder, she doesn't have Refrigerate, does she? That would make Body Slam an Ice-type move, and that would be amazing. Parasite, any Pokemon that hears the song faints in three turns, unless it switches out of battle. Huh! That's interesting, and probably good in the main game, because the opponent never switches, right? Like, you just, you can do that, and then it's just like, okay, we're good. That could be very good, that could be very good. We're obviously gonna get rid of Water Pulse, I mean, yeah. Foget. Uh... 
We can probably get rid of Rain Dance just because it doesn't really help anyone else on the team. I guess we could teach Surf to other members of the team and then that would make Rain Dance a little more usable. I don't know if, uh, ooh, ooh, Attract, interesting, interesting. Hmm, I wonder if someone could benefit from Attract. That would be, that would be, that would be pretty good. Typically, I think, um, it seems like more often than not your opponents will have male Pokemon, so maybe a female Pokemon would be better for that, but I'm not sure. Um, let's see, let's do Power Punch. Oof, power Punch! Mm, it seems good, like we should have it somewhere. I keep thinking maybe we should put it on Fatterhorn for the, um, in place of Rest or Yawn, just because I don't, I haven't really used them a lot yet, but I remember once upon a time with Twig, the Snorlax, from way back in, uh, the Pokemon... The first one, the first nuzzle like I ever did, I used those both a lot, so I don't, uh, well, they're there. Dig, hmm, might be good for upcoming Electric Gym. I think it's two gyms away. Flash, interesting. Rock Polish, Payback, Thunder Wave. Rock Tomb. Seeing if there's anything in particular that might be good for our uh, Lapras. Ooh, hmm. Xylia. All right, let me see. Let me also, let's just check out her, um... Summary. What's the ability on this thing? Give you guys all a good water absorb. Restores HP if hit by a water move. Well, that's wonderful. I feel like even though we have Pear Song and Rain Dance, they both seem replaceable. Rest? Well, I don't know. Pear Song and Rest seems like a good combo almost. Like Pear Song and now we'll just heal. But in any case, um, that's where we're at. We're going to head on this direction. I've got who's up front? Juge? Juge, are you up front? Okay, Juge is there. Lucasander's there. So, okay, the only thing about bringing Xylia on is that it makes Lucasander's position a little weaker because now we have two ice types, and uh, Lucas. Mm. There's, there's, there seems like there might be a spot where Lucasander. Like, I don't know if we need two ice Pokemon on the team. You know, like that's. Uh, I, mm, well, we'll keep that in mind moving forward. It seems like the weakest position on the team at the moment, but, you know, every, if anyone, I'm willing to give anyone a chance, of course. And Lucasander has proved themselves in the past. So, here we go, back onto Route 12 here. whoop de foop doop doop without... Oh, uh, remember the last time we surfed across this and we had... Oh, look, you can see Lapras! That's so cool! What? Oh, man. That's neat. Okay, anyway, moving on. Oh, if this is a Tauros. If this is a Tauros. Ah, oh, it's an Execute. Lovely. Hmm. All the throwbacks to the other Nuzlocke. We had a, an Executor once upon a time. A uh, Inferno. That was his name back in the first one. He was quite good. Sunday Day Solar Beam combo. Anyway, Chloe, if you just want to Fire Fang this thing into the next dimension, that'd be nice. Poison Powder. Ugh. Ah. What nonsense is this? What nonsense is this? I don't like it at all. I don't like it. I think on this particular uh, today, we're going to continue down Route 12. I think we can head to uh, Azure Bay, where... Bloodseed. What is this thing? How does it have such high defenses? Where we can um, fight a lot of water trainers, where that means we can train a lot of juge. All right. We're all having a blast with Bloodseed here. I was really thinking this would be like a one hit. Uh, see you later. Thanks for the XP. Wasn't expecting to have to probably waste a potion after this fight. Yeah, there we go. Great. Good. Oh, good. 241 experience. It was totally worth it. Yeah, this is awesome. Antidote. All right, let's go do it. Yay. <laughs> do we have. Oh, there it is. Yeah, cool. We got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah, all I have is the big potions, too. Whatever. We're not gonna die. We know this grass is scary, apparently. Well, not scary. The trainer is what killed us, but there are Tauros in this grass. I can tell you now from experience. They're my new enemy number one of the Nuzlocke, the terrible Tauros. Who was it? It was you. You. You make me sick. You make me sick. I hate you. You're a bad person. You stink. Smell like farts. All right, moving on. Uh, so we can go over here. You, you want to fight? Fishing is all about catching and releasing. Yeah, well, Pokemon battling is all about razor leafing your dumb Pokemon into the next world. Oh, no. Oh, he's this guy. 
<laughs> All right. Please die with a single razor leaf. Oh, they always put this guy in every game. He's just wandering the world with a six Magikarp that could be six Gyarados, and he could be the scariest trainer ever, but instead he's always just got his Magikarps. Uh, thank you, Juge. Oh my gosh. If it was going to take you two Razor Leafs per Magikarp, I was going to be really upset. Looks like we might actually get a level, though, if we uh, just continue on at this rate. Juge, I cannot help but notice that you are slower than these Magikarp, though. That's unsettling. Zrip. Ugh. Something I'm going to have to remember about Juge is that he's currently holding the Eviolite. Um... When he was battling those Tauros, I was like, man, Juge is really, like, taking these hits. But I, of course, now realize that um, that's probably part of it. And when he evolves, you have to be careful to remember that suddenly they do not have those high defenses anymore. But, of course, when you evolve, you'll get some naturally increase in defense anyway. I don't know when Juge evolves, though. <laughs> At some point. Maybe it's level 26! Wouldn't that be amazing? We beat these six Magikarp, and then we evolved into a wonderful something else. Go-Goat, is that what they're called? They don't have very creative names sometimes. Juge, go to level 26, well done. And he learned something amazing. I, oh, oh, I was right. <laughs> uh, yes, forget something for Bulldoze. I think probably Payback? I love Leech Seed, we can't get rid of Razor Leaf. Synthesis seems good, even though we're kind of slow. Well, mm. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of payback. I think we have it. Yeah, we're getting rid of this. Sorry. 50, 100. Yeah, forget. Ta da! Juge learned Bulldoze. I think Bulldoze does like speed lowering. Is that a thing? I probably should have read the description. <laughs> Bulldoze hits your own team. What? No, that's not how it works. But that'll be very helpful for the upcoming. Um, Electric Gym, eventually, because now we have a Grass Pokemon that is resistant to Electric type attacks that can bulldoze them. Although, almost definitely, we still have to be aware of those Emolgas, which are uh, Flying types, and Dodge Grass, which are very good against Grass types because they can use Flying type moves, and uh, you can't hit them with Ground type stuff. So, and normally they're flying, so even hitting the Electric stuff doesn't do very much. Though, well, I think they're still weak to Electric. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We'll handle that when we get there. Maybe that's where Luke Xander will shine. Take it out the Emolgas. Right? Let's go. What is our now? Are we in a new area? Or is there still Route 12? Can we smash this rock? No, no, no one has rock smash, and they're not gonna get it either. Oh, Cormorant City. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go Route 12. We get to ride on Xylia and see the beautiful neck. Oh goodness. So this is, okay. Oh. A water stone, that's cool. I don't think that's gonna help us at all because we don't have anything we can evolve, but all the same, not bad. Let's see. Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Okay, Azure Bay. So this technically counts as a new area? So we can catch something, which I'm betting will be a, a tentacle, if anything, because here we go. Ah, oh, it's a tentacle. Look at that. Who could have guessed? I could have, I, because I did. Uh, bulldoze. Rap. Oh, gosh. The most annoying move in the world. What a fun sound. Oh, look at that. That was amazing. And speed fell. And we're wrapped. Cool. Wow. Good job, Juge. All right, bag. I don't think it's... Is it... No, it is this gen where even if you uh, catch stuff... Ooh, dive ball. Um, you get the experience for fighting it, which is such a fun thing. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, we got it. We got it. All right, we're going to need ourselves a name for this tentacool. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Let's see. Its body is virtually composed of water. Purdy! 
What a fun name. You're so purdy. Uh, this is after purdy364 in the comments. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the box. Where, uh, honestly, if something happens to Xylia, you have a solid chance of making it onto the team. Oh, what you, oh, should we actually? Hold on. Did we take? How much damage does we take? Oh, okay, I, th yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Famous last words. Gosh. Juge, don't you go... Hi, I'm the person sitting on this uh, sort of dragon-looking thing. Would you like to fight? Oh, boy, you're like a karate swimmer. What's up, Ramore? Oh, my gosh. Quaking in my boots over here. All right, it's definitely going to get faster than this. I'm just going to use this first turn um, to synthesis because... Oh, no! Oh, no. It has an ice attack. Okay. Well, I'm glad I used synthesis then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, you sneaky remoraid. Can't... I think we can still take you. But should we? I'm gonna raise your leaf. I think we can live, obviously we can live the Aurora Beam. This won't do anything. Yeah. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky sneakerson. Having ice type attacks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what you get. Well done, Juge. Well done. Skrelp, what the heck? What is that thing? I think that thing turns into drag algae. At some point. I think it's a poison type, though. It's like, is it poison dragon or is it water? I don't even know what it is. It looks dangerous. I'm going to bulldoze it. I think it's poison type. Uh, it was super effective. And your speed fell, but I don't think it matters. Water pulse. Boy, Skrelp looks very cool. I am not going to lie. I would like to catch a Skrelp. Bulldoze. You did! Boy, how much am I liking bulldoze right now? answer a lot all right opposing scrap you're down and juge you're gonna level again yes come on whalemer oh boy oh you're a big big boy all right cool maybe that means you give me lots of experience when you die maybe Doo -doo 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 -doo. oh it means you have a ton of hp i'll tell you that water pulse if you confuse me Oh my gosh, stay focused! You can do this, Juge. That's right. Even when things are backwards for you, your name is still Juge. Get it? Because it's spelled the same way. You can't confuse the Juge. You can't confuse the Juge! Alright, Juge is having a very good day. For all of you people out there who have been saying, Give Juge a chance! Today is your day. We are giving the Juge a chance! It also helps that there's a lot of water trainers over here. So, there's that. Swimmer Romy sent out Slowpoke. <laughs> Swimmer Romy's about to get razor leafed. All right. Bring it on, dude. We gotta be faster than you. Oh, no. It took it, took it so well. Water pulse. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't love that. But it didn't do much damage at all, although I'm afraid it's going to use something a little bit stronger. I'm going to... I think... Oh, let's go. I'm going to go for a second Razor Leaf right here. We should get a level out of this at the very least. That's good. Come on, Juge! Focus! Disable! How dare you! It will not save you. I will just bulldoze through your dumb, derpy face, Slowpoke. But bye now. See ya. Go fight. S bye. Yeah! 27! That's what's up. Swimmer Romy's down! Those are some beautiful moves your Pokemon have. Thanks, thanks, bye. Good try with your disable. You can't disable Juge. Do, 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 do. Hey, you wanna fight? Do you have the Mega Ring? Is that what the stone is reacting to? Oh, Ampharosite? Okay. Okay. Well, guys, if we can find a, a Mareep somewhere, I think we would be in a semi-business, eh? Hmm? No matter how much we fish, the ocean stays blue. So does the ground. Never change, no matter how much... We... Oh. <laughs> he wasn't saying, so does the ground. He was saying, so, does the ground never change as much as we battle? 
Yeah. All right. Having some real deep thoughts for you. <laughs> Clauncher. Boy, another Pokemon I would uh, love to catch because I've never used one of those and it looks awesome and it looks like it would die to Razor Leaf really easy. We'll find out. Oh, yes. For a second, I thought it was going to live on like the weest of health, but it did not. It is dead. Carvana. Ooh. Ooh, Carvana. Glass Cannon is what this thing is, which means it should definitely die to Razor Leaf as long as we're fa Ice Fang. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's with the ice attacks? No! Oh, Juge! Oh. I can't handle two deaths in a row, you guys. Whew. That was close. That was too close. Freaking Ice Fang. Everything has an ice attack. Must always be wary. This is how, like, sometimes you'll use a flying type against a fighting type Pokemon, but they always happen to have, like, the rock slide, and you're like, oh, what? Come now. This makes little sense. I always have a rock type attack. They're ready for you. Or they like thunder punch and you're like, oh, right. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Small waves roll on the surface. Would you like to surf? <laughs> what a nice uh, description. Ooh, you. You look like you have water Pokemon that would die to my juge. Now that I'm all grown and finally able to swim, there's nothing out there to frighten me. What about this giant blue headed Loch Ness monster thing I'm riding? Hmm? Hmm? Swimmer Isla, Corsola. Mm, 28 feels like a good level for Juge to evolve at, am I right? It seems like the right level. I have no idea if that uh, is accurate, though. That'd be great. Let's see it. I doubt this is going to be the fight where we get the, uh, the next level. Oh, man, maybe, though. That was a lot more experience than I was expecting. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad. Look at this. We're just going to razor lift thing. Razor leaf this lantern. Oh, what did it use? What was that? Stockpile. Oh, sneaky. Think you can stockpile me? I wonder if... Hmm. I wonder if Bulldoze would be better. Plus, we could at least slow it down. Let's test it. Take down. You dare. Oh, that did nothing. And you just took damage yourself. Oh, that did not do as much damage. But we lowered its speed, so hopefully we're faster than it now. That'd be nice. Razor Leaf! Can you guys tell that I'm way more awake than usual recording this episode? It's because right now it's 2.15 in the afternoon, and it's a Saturday, and I am not just waking up at 6 a.m. Oh, we did get the level! Hey, Juge, level 28, how you feeling about evolving, mon frere? Hmm? Hmm? Is that the level? Is it? Do it. It feels right. It feels right. It was not right. Oh, that would have been great if I just totally guessed. I'm going to look it up real quick. All right, I looked it up. It is 32, so we are actually still not very far away. Ju just having a good day. Get a few more fights like that, and we'll be evolving in no time. Oh, gosh, this place is huge. What's over here? Smashable rocks, skating on the beach. That's just bad for our uh, skates. Oh, what? What? A dive ball, boy. We got way far back here for a freaking dive ball. It's got to be something worth getting back here, right? It looks like a sky battle, which we cannot do because we do not have any flying Pokemon at the moment. Oh, what do we got here? More tentacle. Oh, a Mantike. Oh, I, man, you could. I, I didn't realize you could run into anything besides tentacle out on the open seas, but apparently you can. And I don't really care, though. We're just going to run because we don't... Oh, couldn't get away. Are you serious? Juge. Outrun this thing. Okay. Well, way to take the headbutt anyway. Okie dokie. Here we go. Is, is there, isn't there like a cave back here? Ah, this looks like it. Oh, maybe not. There's got to be like a cave or something back here, right? Or a, a, a place to go. Tentacool. See, now I think we could one-shot this thing, so I'm much happier to fight it. And just take the free XP for that bulldoze. Acid. Oh, apparently we're still slow. They let you run around that goat as if it's super fast, but then here's our juge. Being all not super fast. Maybe we should just use bulldoze at the start of every fight, and then we'll lower their speed, and that'll be the answer. Yeah. Okay, so 
The next gym, though, is a grass gym, and his, his like, signature Pokemon is indeed a Go-Goat. Um, and so he's... Okay, it's worth noting that he's got Bulldoze, because he's certainly going to try and use that. And obviously our strategy is going to send, be to send in Cloeo. But that ground-type attack, not so good. What is back here? Oh, this looks right. Here we go. What's in here? Anything fun? Sea Spirit's Den. Oh, this looks like where you might find some sort of legendary Pokemon. Also counts as a new area, so I don't know if we're going to run into anything, but... Hmm. Oh, good. Wow, this is a fun cave. You know what I mean? It's a fun cave. Well, there's nothing in here. Great. Fun. Cool. Glad we came back. Worthwhile. Worthwhile adventure back here. Yes, I do want to surf. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Can we knock it out with Juge? Can we bulldoze it into oblivion? Man, I wish we'd run into the Mantike instead of the Tentacool. That'd have been pretty interesting. I wonder, I wonder if we can just knock this thing out with a quick Razor Leaf. Takedown? What is this thing? Boy, that Eviolite is seriously helping us. You avoided the attack. It's a joke. Uh, I'm just gonna run. I don't want to fight it. Stop it! <laughs> Stop being so slow! Ah! Okay. We're just gonna switch to a different Pokemon then. Uh, go. Fatterhorn. Just... I want to... I don't want to fight this. We, I would... I mean... <laughs> we missed the Razor Leaf. That would have been it. So... Come on, Juge. I feel like you, you could do better. You could do better. There we go. All right. Um, can we run now? Are you serious? All right. This thing's asking for it. We're just going to body slam it into the next world. And then it will be dead. That'll be that. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Jeez, now we can escape. All right. First of all, hyper potion. Because Jew just taking some damage. Can't have that. Can lose no more Pokemon. What about here? Oh! Oh, look! Something? A big pearl? That's cool. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. I wonder what could have been in this grass that we might have been able to catch. We're not going to stick around to find out, but... I should give you a better view of everywhere you could go. Just sort of... Oh, going at random here. That looks like a sky battle. Here we go again. I'm starting to think that the tentacle was the rarer encounter all of a sudden. Razor Leaf, please just hit it. And kill it in one shot and we won't have to worry about it. Oh my god, it has so much defense. These things are so annoying. Why are there so many annoying Pokemon all of a sudden? Got the Tauruses and the Mantikes. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. Water pulse. Yeah, if you confuse me, so help me. Okay. Please die. And you're dead. Wonderful! There we go. There we go. Oh, wait. What's this island? Have we already been here? Yeah. All right. Well, what a wonderful trip around Azure Bay. A beautiful place to visit. Oh! Because that's where we went, though. We went in that. So there was nothing really in there, though. So. That was a much better view. In any case. Oh! And we're back on to Route 12. Alright, let's get back to shore here. Boom! We made it. Alright, now. If memory serves. We've made it to Cormoran City. I want to say. Wine Gums is about to spring a surprise fight on us so let me quick i think we we have shadow ball here right yes we do okay so what i'm gonna do is throw goyrin out front to uh shadow ball her meow stick and hope that we are faster because other oh man that could be a weird should we do that mm, should we just send out 
Should we just send out Fatterhorn and just be like, uh, this is safer. Let's just do that. We're not going to risk two things in two episodes. We're not going to have another big heavy hitter go down. Hollow up. Here we go. Is this it? Duh. Jonathan, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Prepare yourself. Okay. All right. The game is the foot right now. All right, where is the gym? That's the question. Wait, is there no Pokemon Center here? Can I not just heal up or something real quick? You guys have free stuff? What about you? Oh, hey, remember that episode with the Fru Fru? Ooh, a silk scarf. What does that do? Hmm, we shall have to check. I think that ups the power of normal type moves, so... I mean, we're not going to give that to um, Fatterhorn or anything because he's already got the uh, leftovers and that's like the best move or best item he can have. But Silk Scarf. Normal type moves. Yay. So we could at least give it to uh, Chloeo. Oh. Yes. I think we would rather have a stronger headbutt there. But we obviously need to give the Rocky Helmet to somebody. Juge? Do you want the Rocky Helmet? What are you currently holding? Oh, Eviolite. Never mind. No, not at the moment. Um, Hardstone? Mm, right now. All right. Um, Xylia! There we go. Rocky Helmet time. Everyone's got to have their item. Doo -doo. Oh, there's the gym, right? Is this? This is it? Seaside Station. Okay, no, not quite. Where are we? Hello? Oh, free TM! Uh, yes. Slower Pokemon get to move first for five turns. Oh, um, Trick Room. Oh, we got Trick Room. Okay, we're not going to use that, but... That's like one of those things that's a very competitive move where you can like totally just mess up someone's strategy, but where is the gym leader? Oh boy. Why hello Jonathan! Congratulations! I see you finally learned everything you need for Pokemon Mega Evolution. Don't act like you don't know what Mega Evolution is. You have a Mega Gardevoir, you crazy liar champion. Surprise. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I came to give you this. Is it something awesome? Oh, it is. Cool. Fly! Too bad we don't have a flying type. And everyone in the comments like, But get Tom John back! Yeah, yeah. I see your comments. When I'm acting, I always try and forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is nothing like a character, then I just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might want to understand her. It's the same for people or Pokemon. Okay. All right. Great. Yes. I look forward to the day we battle, too. And you're the champion of the Elite Four. Surprise, surprise. Yes. All right. There's the Pokemon Center. Lovely. All right. Pokemon Center complete. Let's go head in front of... The I think the gym is up here. Yeah. All right. We're going to fight... Wine gums, and I think we're going to call that the episode. Ready? There she is. I'm sorry I'm late, so could you show me Mega Evolution? Of course, whether you use Mega Evolution to battle or not, it's not up to you, but I'd like to know what the potential of Pokemon really is. We're not going to use it because uh, we don't have it. We don't even have our beloved axe. Meow stick. Oh, yeah. We know a thing or two about meow stick. All right. Body slam. Oh, you're going to fake out. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We're just going to heal that right off. So your uh, opening salvo is wasted. Glad we got that out of the way, though. Disarming voice. Oh, my God. It did emotional damage. Snorlax's feelings were hurt. We used body slam. Meowstic's backbone was hurt. Yeah. And also... Full health. Boom. You've got nothing. You've got nothing. 
Uh, we're gonna, I guess, keep up with the body slams. What you got? What you got? Mm-hmm. Oh, can't do anything. Does she, I wonder if she uses potions. We should take this moment to examine that for future fights with her. Because she's not always that bad. We're just gonna, I guess we'll just use strength. It doesn't really matter. We're good. Okay, she did not use a potion. Good to know. Good to know. What else does she have? Oh, Absol. Lovely. Oh, is that her mega later? Is the Absol? I think it is. Slash. Oh my gosh, Fatterhorn is insane. So defensive. I mean, that should have done so much damage, and it didn't. Also, the paralysis is on point. Obviously, everyone's just very focused in the wake of Axe's death. Everyone knows they need to be their best self. Strength. Quick attack. Oh, you sneaky Absol. Look how little damage they can do. Leftovers is so good. All right, there we go. There we go. Ba-boom. And we're healed up again. And now she should just have Quillad in here. Yep. And we should pretty easily be able to just body slam this thing go away as well. Need alarm. Oh, wait. Oh, the thing about this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We do need to remember the potential for hammer arm paralysis again though that's wonderful because hammer arm i'm pretty sure is a fighting type move that is pretty strong hmm should we switch in fear of i don't think they get i don't think he has it yet and i think he would have used it right out of the gate so let's just go for the body slam there's a chance he'll be paral paralyzed anyway he was and that should be game because Unless, uh, for some reason, I miss, or she potions, or something. I don't know. There you go. Kaboom. Fatter horn takes down the whole team. All right. We did it. Victory is ours. Sorry, wine gums. As a Pokemon trainer, I find you really interesting. Thanks for the money. Even though we set up from Vanville town at the same time, you somehow became stronger than I am. What could be so different? Ah. Uh, Maybe it's all the grinding I do, or the uh, experience of loss that makes me stronger, or that I carry six Pokemon instead of three. I don't know, there's a lot of things. Maybe take your pick. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and leave a comment so you can possibly get a Pokemon named after for you in the future. Um, we're probably gonna do a wee bit of grinding in the next episode, and then also, um, we're gonna fight the gym. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a big day for Mighty Chloe. I don't know when she evolves. It's gotta be getting close too, though. We're sort of in that range for everyone, right? Um, but yeah, Chloe should have a great episode next time against the Grass Gym. Um, should be should be good fun. Should be good fun all around. Uh, I will see you then. Until next time. Bye.